to the Soka Forecast. My name is Kix, and it's time for a review of Right Here on the Sky Juice Rhythm by Riggy Atmosphere and Kino. But before we get started, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, giving us an opportunity to be seen and heard by others like you that enjoy music reviews. Now, back to the review. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Well, <laughs> Riggy and Kino, you tried. This song, in my opinion, is more of an album cut. And you know something? I'm not sure if a lot of artists knows what it really takes to create a hit song because I'm noticing a lot of artists are putting out music that has no real direction and you know they not they, they they just don't understand that not every song is for the radio and not every song is for the club some songs are just meant for people to just listen to they're not the songs to get a club hype or you know things like that and this song is a good you know a good example of that but you know something I'm just going to stop right here. <laughs> no pun intended. Lyrically, this song is okay. Does it stick to the topic of the song? Honestly, I don't even know. I listened to the song a few times, and if you have been listening to my music reviews for a while, you have heard me say this. I don't listen to songs once. I don't listen to any song twice. I listen to it to make sure that I am hearing and feeling what I am hearing and feeling about the song because I don't want to just say anything about anyone because this is something serious. It is, you know, a lot of artists, this is their art form. And this might be a way that they are trying to feed their families or, you know, anything. You know, it could be something that they always dreamt of doing. I'm not sure, but I'm not just going to just say anything to break them down. You know, I, I don't want to do that. If and when my music reviews becomes something that can make or break an artist, I want my audience to know and understand that I don't just talk and say things just because. I am really sitting down and trying to give a lot of these things a fair listen and a fair chance before I even talk about it, before I even review it, because it's only the right thing to do. And if you're going to do something, you have to do it right. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it right, or at least attempting and trying to do it right. Some people may disagree with the way I review. Some people may not. Some people may like it to each his own. All I know is when I do it, I do it and I do it for real. So with all that said, I'm still not too sure about the lyrics. The hook is okay. I, I was not really a fan of it. I think that these two guys can do better in my opinion. But I would say that this hook is something that people would probably want to hear. The song is probably something that people want to hear because it is it, it has sort of like a it has sort of a party vibe in it. In this track, they are basically talking about when co when the COVID pandemic is over, he would he's looking forward to like moments where uh, he used to jump up and fed, you know, jump up for carnival and things like that. So he just basically wants to relive that. So, you know, he's saying that we have it right here. And, you know, when the whole thing come back, they're going to be jamming. So, I mean, that's that's basically it. The concept was cool. I just am not really too much of a fan of the delivery. I think it could have been better. Production-wise, I wasn't too much a fan of it either. The beat was produced by Simeon Stafford, I hope I said that right, for Spice Boys Records. I think that the beat was just weak. It wasn't hitting hard to me, in my opinion. It was a good try by the, uh, by the producer, and it was a good try by the artist. I feel like the producer could have done better. I didn't like the rock guitars at the end, 
you know, he tried to add like these rock guitars at the end of the song. I didn't really like that. Also, um, when it came to like the outro, I mean, the rock guitars was all a part of that, but like the ending, ending of the song, I didn't really like that either. I think they could have done something better. And like I said before, the rock guitars just did not fit the whole beat. It did not fit the sonic sound of the beat to me. Uh, I mean, honestly, if these guys probably do a remix to it and figure out how to make the song better, I think the song could work because the concept is good. But I think they just need to go back and tweak this and try again. They could do a remix and it probably would sound better. Honestly, I think it probably could sound better. They could make it sound better. Maybe sit down with somebody and see how they could get it to sound better. And as we say over here, this is what makes music music. Some songs are not for you and some songs are for you. And I can tell you right now, this song is not for me. I don't know if I would add this to my playlist and the song was just not it. Now, if you haven't heard this track yet, you can check it out right here on YouTube. And if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, or Spotify, come on over to YouTube and check it out. Feel free to click the link down in the description below or in the YouTube search bar, type in right here by Riggy Atmosphere and Kinu. As far as the rating goes, I would give this a six and a half. Well, this review is over, and if you're looking for another, stay tuned for the other. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. And once again, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Riggy Atmosphere, Kinu, right here, Kicks, Soka Forecast, signing off. Peace.